get you out the door right now. This is the view out in Lawrence getting a really pretty sunrise. You're going to have plenty of sunshine for the first part of the day, but clouds will be increasing on into the afternoon. So take the sunglasses with you still. You'll need them early and then late in the day. That's when you'll want that umbrella. My guardian radar quiet now. We are seeing those clouds increasing in our southern counties. Still will be broken with sunshine on into the early part of the day, but really the trend will be that they'll be thickening on into the afternoon. We have showers that are now moving into southwestern Illinois, and while the front of this system will be moving over Indiana later on in the day, I don't think that it quite reaches the ground as this will be drying up uh, in our dry air that's in place. What we'll be watching to head our way is a little farther off to the south and west, and those showers will get here mainly as we get into the evening hours. So for the morning, what you need to focus on is the fact that it's pretty chilly out there. We even have a frost advisory in place for areas Morgan, Johnson County and north until 8 a.m. So if you have any sensitive plants outside, they need to be brought in or covered up. Also a sign that if you parked outside, you are possibly going to need some to scrape some frost off your windshield. So allow a little extra time for that as well. The temperature in Indianapolis not quite at frosty levels yet. We're at 39 degrees. We need to get to 36 and lower to get those conditions. We're at 32 though in Kokomo and 37 in Muncie. So you need that coat as you're heading out this morning. On into the afternoon will warm nicely. We hit a high of 59 yesterday for Indianapolis. We should be right around that area, that temperature as we get into the lunch hour. Still dry at noon and then as we get into the late afternoon, we'll keep on going and we'll see those temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. So overall a pleasant day, even though we're talking a little less sunshine later on and rain chances on the rise. Those rain chances don't get here until late. Here we are at 530 PM. A few spotty showers certainly possible off in our southern counties, but I think for most of us that commute this evening is going to be dry. As we get towards 8 o'clock, though, we have a more favorable chance for showers off in our southern counties. All of this continues to lift north as we head through the evening. This is 1130 PM and we'll keep scattered showers around and the possibility of a few thunderstorms on through the overnight hours on into early tomorrow morning. This is 7 AM and it's not until tomorrow afternoon that we really start to see these showers pulling their way on out. But even then a few spotty showers will be possible tomorrow afternoon too. Any thunderstorm activity that you may hear overnight, just know it's going to be non severe. Your garden variety thunderstorms out there. We'll see temperatures not quite as cold either down to 60 degrees by 10 o'clock this evening. And then by tomorrow morning, we'll have only seen temperatures drop into the upper 40s, much closer to the average for this time of year. Those showers around tomorrow, mainly early looking at a high of 62 tomorrow afternoon up to 67 on Saturday. We bring back rain and storm chances on Saturday, but not until the afternoon and evening. And as we get into Sunday and Monday, we'll have the chance for some hit and miss showers too. another colder shot of air coming our way before we start to rebound throughout next week.